All right, guys, so I just want to go over uh, Mark Sisson's The Primal Blueprint. And uh, if you're unaware of it, it's, it's pretty good code to follow by. And uh, I follow it quite, uh, quite, a, quite a bit and uh, a lot of good stuff here. So his, the, the main thing is the, the 10 Primal Blueprint Laws. Rule number one, eat a lot of plants and animals. That goes pretty straightforward with uh, the paleo way, um, whole whole plants, whole animals as you would find them in your natural environment in the wild. Um, number two, avoid poisonous things. That's like your processed carbohydrates, vegetable oils, anything that's inflammatory, everything that's going to, uh, you know, cause harm to your body. You want to avoid sugar, um, those kind of things, alcohols. Um, next is move frequently at a slow pace. That's like going for a walk, going for a swim, light bike ride, um, those kind of things where your heart rate stays low, but uh, good for blood circulation and uh, f like functional movements as well. Next, lift heavy things. That's that's a uh, that's a uh, you know every couple maybe maybe twice a week or once a week you you f do a full full effort uh, uh, workout where you're lifting as heavy as you can. Um, then once a week. You, you, once to once to every 10 days, you do a sprint, uh, and that really uh, is good for your uh, heart uh, and, and and strength of your leg muscles and full body. Um, obviously, you want to get ex a uh, adequate sleep. Uh, for most people, this is between six and eight hours. You know, uh, you should really uh, get a feel for the amount of sleep your body wants and uh, really give it to it. Uh, you get a lot of. Uh, uh, repair during sleep and it's good for your brain and body and uh, mind connection so definitely very important um, number seven play you know you want to laugh you want to enjoy yourself you want to you know play with the kids play with your family uh, you know just just enjoy this life that's basically what play is um, get adequate sunlight a lot of people are just deficient in vitamin D uh, if you can't get outside because you're in the office all day uh, you can take vitamin D, but definitely you want to get outside, feel that sun on your skin, um, get outside as much as you can. There's so many benefits associated with that. Avoid stupid mistakes. Uh, I mean, that one pretty much goes without goes without saying. Same with use your brain. Um, keep it active. Uh, you know, stimulate it. Uh, uh, make sure you read books. Always learning and uh, and progress yourself that way. That way you'll stay sharp and uh, clear in, into your old age. Um, the food pyramid is going to be different, quite a bit different than uh, what you're used to seeing from the typical uh, food pyramid proposed by uh, mainstream nutrition these days. Uh, and again, he says here, for effortless weight loss, vibrant health, and boundless energy. And I can, uh, I can definitely uh, uh, say that that's very true. And uh, you'll find here, the, the base of the food pyramid is, uh, is, uh, is, is your meat, uh, fish, fowl, and eggs, uh, and, and, and your fat. You're getting a lot of your energy from fat, and that's just really good for um, your brain, your body. Uh, and then you want to have lots of vegetables, lots of fat. And then your moderate ones are your uh, starchy tubers, nuts, fruits. And then you eventually get into your sensible indulgences, like dark chocolate, maybe alcohol in a while, but the bulk of what you're going to be eating is vegetables, fat, and meat. Pretty straightforward. Um, then further over here, we've got the, uh, the Primal Blueprint Fitness Pyramid, and that's for functional, diverse, athletic ability, and a lean proportional physique. I think this is what most people are looking for when they're, when they're working out, um, not to become a massive bodybuilder or... Uh, um, something of that sort. So to get that sort of uh, body, you want to mostly do frequent, move frequent at a slow pace. That's two to five hours per week, you know, walking, hiking, cycling, swimming. Um, just enough to get your body like uh, fueled and, and ready to go. Um, then you want to do, you know, lift heavy things. For me, I, I, I find once a week very good for me and uh, it only takes about 20 minutes. Some people might want to stretch that to two to three. And then, and then an all-out sprint once every seven to ten days. I end up slacking on that quite a bit, but uh, whenever you have the chance, just do uh, an aggressive sprint. And for some people, that might just be running slightly faster than they normally do. It's, uh, 
it's one of those things that just pushes your body to the full maximum potential and that helps yourself uh, develop and grow and um, be fully functional. This, this is very interesting right here. It's the primal blueprint carbohydrate curve and it's, it's quite a bit uh, true. And you'll see on the left hand side there, grams of carbs per day. Um, and a lot of people are in that 200 to 250 range and that's why they continue to get fatter and fatter and fatter. And a lot of people can end up uh, um, being in the zone of that 100 to 150. And a, a lot of people can find that very comfortable and, uh, and, and stay there quite a bit. If you really want to uh, actually lose weight, you're going to want to get below 100. And then below 50, if you want to get into ketosis and uh, the intermittent fasting uh, range of things. Uh, and I prefer that. Somewhere between 50 every once in a while and then between 50 and 100 I like. And you see on the, on, the, on the bottom of the graph there how much fat you're going to burn, how much you're going to store. And then eventually if you're eating too many processed carbohydrates every single day, you're eventually going to get sick you're going to get obese, you're going to get metabolic syndrome. So you're going to want to avoid that. You're going to want to uh, minimize the amount of carbs you have today, especially the processed carbohydrates. Um, and yeah, so his book is, is, is really good, and you can go to his website. Uh, it's got a lot of good stuff there. Um, so hopefully that uh, leads you in a good direction, and uh, you figure out how to, uh, how to go primal, go paleo and ketosis.